Hey everyone, it's the Cinema Dude, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to look at a uh, another box set uh, that I just got, uh, and that is the Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee Collection. Uh, this is the set that just came out from Severin. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing uh, video for you and uh, show you what's inside and stuff. Um, so yeah, so this one. Um, she actually just came in the mail the other day, so I wanted to do a quick uh, video for everyone and to show you. So I'm um, very excited about this set. This is one of my, the sets I've kind of been looking forward to uh, this year. So, so here is the front of it and then uh, the back. And it comes with nine discs uh, and a book set. So there's eight Blu-rays plus one CD. And it includes Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace, Challenge the Devil, Crypt of the Vampire, Castle of the Living Dead, The Torture uh, Chamber of Dr. Sadism, and Theater Macabre. And it says here, uh, he remains one of the most beloved horror and fantasy icons in U.S. and U.K. pop culture history. But Christopher Lee delivered several of the most compelling, acclaimed, and bizarre performances of his entire career in 1960s Europe. Uh, the Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee brings together five of the Lee classics, 1964 Gothic Shocker, Crypt of the Vampire, the 1964 cult hit Castle of the Living Dead, starring an unknown Don Donald Sutherland, 1962 celebrated Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace. 1967, the um, lucid favorite, The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. And the rarely seen 1963 oddity, Challenge of the Devil. With the surviving, uh, 24 surviving episodes of the 1971 film Polsky anthology series, Theater Macabre, hosted by Lee, all remastered from negative materials with over 10 hours of trailers, rare uh, promos, audio commentaries, and vintage uh, interviews, along uh, plus the Castle of the Living Dead soundtrack, and an all-new 100-page uh, uh, book by Lee, Lee biographer Jonathan Rigby. So again, uh, so uh, very nice box. Um, compared, uh, I would say it's like the Al Adamson box. Um, but a little different. Um, this doesn't have like the slips like that one does. This is more of like the um, uh, the uh, Lindsay Baker Jallo set that they did. So, all right. So when we open this up, uh, first we have the book by Jonathan Rigby, and let's see, it is about ninety-five pages or so. Some different uh, stuff with Christopher Lee. I have to say, um, Christopher Lee is probably one of my favorite horror um, stars, just because of the amount of stuff he was in. Um, you know, you you get the his Hammer uh, stuff that he did, but then you get stuff like this or Horror Express, or you you get all these kind of little gems here and there, which is really cool. So. All right, so uh, let's go first with uh, Castle of the Living Dead. And then this one is the one that comes with the uh, CD. That's the inside. And then the uh, CD kind of with on the soundtrack and stuff. 46 minutes, that's a pretty good size. Uh, Listen on that. Uh, let's see. So this is the first ever authorized release of the original uncut version. Uh, the, in the final film of his early 60s European uh, period, Chris Freely stars as the 19th century Count who invites a theatrical trope for a weekend of horrors that boasts an enthusiastic, creepy performance by Lee. Uh, st startling locations in Laszlo, Italy's. Uh, let's see. So, uh, on here, um, there is an audio commentary by Nathaniel Thompson and, uh, 
from Mondo Digital, a uh, Cat Ellinger audio commentary, uh, a From the Castle to the Academy career interview, uh, and then the Castle of the Mystery Man, and then the uh, bonus uh, disc. And this is the one that has Donald Sutherland in it. That's the back. And you've got to see um, any of these. The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. That one was on there. Where is it? Uh, right here. Uh, yes. On this hemisphere of uh, horror set. Um, I got to kind of... There you go. Uh, so this is the uh, Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism. So this one they actually found. So they put that the this release into their um Hemisphere of Horrors. Yeah, Hemisphere of Horrors set. And um but then they actually found like the original negative of it, which had more footage and stuff, so then they put this in uh there. So uh Christopher Lee stars as Count uh Regula, an insane nobleman found guilty of murdering a dozen virgins and drawn and quartered for his crimes. But when a, uh, his lawyer, former Tarzan Le Le Lex Baker, Barker, excuse me, is summoned to the Count's castle 35 years later, he will unwillingly, or he will unlock a wildly entertaining odyssey of torture, dismemberment, and creepy Bavarian locations that has equal parts of Mario Bava and Hermitus Bosch. I probably butchered that. Um, let's see. So on here, and then the, it's the now scan in 4K from the original German negative. Um, and then there, again, audio commentary by Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson. Uh, there is an audio interview with actress Karen Dorr. Um, and then there's some German shorts on here, Super 8 uh, Digest shorts. Uh, trailers, Behind the Seas Gallery, Restoration Slideshow. And then that is the back. Uh, we'll go with that one last. Uh, then we have Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace. Uh, this was directed by Terrence Fisher. And it, this is the first U.S. release of this. of his, In his only performance as uh, Holmes. So, uh, shortly after their hit collaboration of the Hounds of uh, Beckersville. Um, Beckersville, excuse me. Uh, Christopher Lee and director Terrence Fisher uh, return to uh, the Holmes genre for a Lee's solo uh, feature film portrayal of the world's greatest detective. Shot in Berlin with Hammer regular Thory Walters as Dr. Watson. Um, Lee considered it to be one of the best things he's done because I try to play Holmes really as he was written. And then this is scanned uh, in the 2K from the German negative of this. Excuse me. And um, this one has a audio commentary by Kim Newman and Barry Forshaw. So that is uh, Shaw Combs. And then that's the part. And actually, let me go back to... And that's the uh, inside of that one as well. <clears throat> Uh, then we have Crypt of the Vampire, and that's the back. Um, I'm not going to lie, the, the colors on these really, like, pop, and so it's really cool. Um, and this is the first official U.S. Blu-ray release, now scanned from a fine-grained 35mm master, uh, and a lavish go gothic shocker inspired by uh, Sheridan Le Fon's immortal novella, Carmela. Christopher Lee delivers a rare hero turn as a noble Count Kerzin, Kerstein, whose forbidding castle teams with ancestral courses, unnatural desires, philosophical hunchbacks, and grisly acts of vengeance. Uh, this is now a 2K scan from, the, like I said, the fine grain 35mm print. Uh, it has a trailer on here. And uh, this is a um, 1964 Spanish-Italian co-production, also known as Terror in the Crypt and Crypt of Horror. And then that's the 
disc inside. And then we have Challenge the Devil. And let's see. So, in the most obscure film of his early 60s Italian period, if not his entire career, Christopher Lee stars in this brilliantly bizarre combination of neorealist crime thriller, a tawdry Christian melodrama, fitzy uh, cabaret musical, and trippy gothic horror, culminating in a gang of bongo crazed delinquents menaced by a white haired Lee as a sinister Victorian who may be Satan himself. Also known as uh, Ketaris and little seen for over 50 years is now scanned in 2K from the from the Italian negative for the first time ever. Uh, and this has a Dance with the Devil interview uh, with uh, Roberto uh, Curti. And then the importance of being Giorgio uh, interview with Giorgio Arden over two decades uh, in a trailer for this. And then this also has the uh, Relics of the Crypt uh, disc, uh, which has Horror, a 1964 Swiss documentary short uh, featuring interviews from Christopher Lee, Boris Karloff, Vincent Price, Roger Corman. Uh, behind the Mask, uh, Christopher Lee remembers Boris Karloff, a new edit of an unfinished 1991 documentary. Uh, Cinescope, a 1976 Belgian TV interview. Uh, there is an interview from 1975, an audio com or audio interview of Christopher Lee. Um, the, the company's from Stills. Let's see. Monsters and Vampires, an interview with pioneer horror historian Alan, Alan Frank. The Crypt Keepers, the making of Crypt of the Vampire featurette. Uh, oh. Oh, Solo Mio, It's Now or Never, and She'll, She'll Fall for Me, Christopher Lee and Gary Curtis music videos. Uh, outtakes from To the Devil, A Daughter, and Theater of Death. Uh, 2001 DVD interview sessions, including The Most Frightening Film Ever, Black Mashes, and Mission to Moscow, and more. And then University College Dublin 2011 Q&A with Sir Christopher Lee. So that is all part of the Challenge of the Devil set. And then uh, finally, the one that I thought was really cool is uh, Christopher Lee Presents Theater Macabre. Um, and this was a Polish anthology series um, that was um, hosted by Christopher Lee. And it has remastered uh, 24 episodes. And it said Christopher Lee hosted this anthology television series originally produced by... Film Poliska, uh, Knife in the Water, The Tin Drum, and the tradition of Alfred Hitchcock Prevents and Boris Karloff's um, Thriller. Lee delivers the intro and outro of each half hour at his imposed and often cheeky best, while the tales themselves, adapted from stories from uh, Poe, Robert Louis Stevenson, Oscar Wilde, and others, are written or directed by filmmakers that include um, Andre Zulowski. Um, and others, dubbed into English and featuring additional dialogue with new theme by Ron Goldman, it has remained largely unseen since its brief airing on American TV in 1971. Uh, these 24 surviving episodes have now been scanned in 2K from its original negative. And so it's over to disc. And then there is the back. So... I really look forward to uh, diving into this uh, set, kind of these, you know, European horror films of that 60s period. Uh, very cool. But uh, I definitely re recommend this. Um, really awesome set. Um, very nice presentation. Like I said, more kind of obscure, not obscure, but, you know, some of these horror films they either haven't been released here or haven't, you know, had the look... Um, you know, they might have been in just like really junky, um, public domain stuff, but you know, and, um, just even for the theater macabre set itself, just to have those kind of anthology uh, horror TV shows finally, you know, available, I would highly recommend this. Um, so far 
another um, set this year that's in running for best of the year. Uh, but this is a very, very nice set. So uh, definitely highly recommend this one. And uh, comment below. Um, are you a Christopher Lee fan? Um, what's your favorite, you know, um, role of his? You know, are you someone who liked him in Lord of the Rings or in the Star Wars movies? Are you someone that, you know, likes his um, horror um, stuff? You know, me personally, I like him in... Um, Horror Express, I think it's one of my favorites because just because it's him and um, Peter Cushing kind of like teaming up. I, I really like that um, role of his. But comment below uh, and then let me know, have you picked up this set as, uh, as well? Um, definitely pick this one up. Supposedly this set is not like a limited run. Um, it's what I've read um, from different places. So definitely pick this one up. Um, I know they had one that had a book too. That one definitely sold out. But the, the set itself is still available. So, yeah, so definitely check out the Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee collection by Severn. So I just want to thank everybody for watching today. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Um, next week. Now, we're going to get to these Westerns one uh, eventually. But I realize that next week is uh, the 40th anniversary of probably one of my favorite all-time uh, films, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So next week we are doing a video not just on um indiana jones set that i have and we'll, we'll talk about the indiana jones movies um and as you can tell raiders is my favorite um we'll talk about that but then we'll also go into other kind of knockoff similar ones of that as well so um we got so i have some other uh some releases uh that kind of go in that action adventure kind of genre so We'll, we'll talk about that as well. So that is next week's video. Then hopefully we'll get to the Westerns one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I saw that coming up. I was like, you know what? We're going to switch it around a little bit. So next week will be kind of Indiana Jones kind of tribute slash uh, kind of 40th anniversary uh, celebration. So again, thank you everyone for watching. I, I hope you guys have a great week. And uh, I do appreciate all you guys watching and commenting and stuff like that. So uh, remember, be kind and rewind. We'll see everybody next week.